to my channel. Today's video will be what I bought this month. I have so many things that I want to show you. This might turn into a clothing haul because I have bought so many clothes and I have some really good sale finds as well. Hopefully the items that I will show are still available. So I have clothes, I have home stuff to show you, I have some beauty products. So if you're interested keep watching and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe. Everything will be linked down below as always, so make sure you check the description box. You can also come follow me on my other social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat and Twitter. So make sure you come say hello and let's get started. Alright, I'll try to be quick uh, and not talk too too much because um, this video will be like 40 minutes long probably. Uh, but I will start with two pairs of jeans that I found on sale. Actually these ones I bought on, not on sale, <laughs> and then they I saw that they went on sale unfortunately. Um, yeah, uh, so these are Rag & Bone, they're currently on sale. I saw these were available on Netta Porter, the Rag & Bone website, so I'll try to link them. Hopefully they still have some left and yeah, these are the jeans. I wore them in my previous video where I showed you what I bought from Fendi and Chanel. Um, so you might have seen them there, so I linked them there. I got mine in size 27. I really, really love Rag & Bone jeans. They're such a good quality. I know they're very expensive. Like these were £250, I believe, and they went on sale and they were about 100, like 50% off, like £100 on sale. Um, they might have gone down even more. I really, really love the wash of them. They fit so nicely. They have like a tiny little rip here on the knee and I really love how they're like cut on the bottom and they don't have a lot of stretch but um, I would say they're true to size because I'm always 27 in rag and bone jeans um, actually in most brands I'm 27 and uh, yeah these are them I really love them and you should check them out Right, next I have another pair of jeans and I bought these amazing Levi's um, I really loved how they fit. These are 721, the Levi 721. And I have another pair, I can't remember which number <laughs> I have, but to be honest, I don't really like them because they're way too stretchy. I love that these are not that stretchy, um, so they hold me in the right places. They make my bum look really nice as well. So mine are size 27 and length, I, as I got these on sale, they only had the 32, but I'm very tall, so I was lucky. <laughs> um, for reference, I'm 171 centimeters. And these are a bit long, but I don't mind. I can roll them up or actually they don't really look bad, even if I don't roll them up. They fit fine lengthwise. I think they were 50% off, so they were reduced from I can't remember, like 85 pounds to 40, probably two pounds, but I, I believe I believe I paid about 40 something pounds. So yeah, they were 50% off. By the way, we went to Bista Village. I'll talk about that in a bit. I found some amazing things in Bista Village as well. But we went to, we quickly popped into the Levi's store and they had jeans that were like 10, 15 pounds. So if you live in England, uh, you might wanna take a trip to Bista Village because right now they have amazing sales. I'll show you what I found from Mr. Village a bit later, uh, but the Levi's jeans there were so, so cheap, like 20 pounds, 15 pounds, so yeah. Right, next I have something from Topshop and leopard print is back <laughs> and I remember, oh my god, I remember I had so many leopard things like my friend Laura will tell you, we were clearing up my wardrobe and I found so many leopard prints, like it was insane and I actually gave everything to charity, um, so um, yeah, leopard print is back. And maybe I should have kept some of my leopard stuff. But I found this really cool shirt, which I'll try on so you can see. It's very interesting. I love the sleeves. It is from Topshop. I got mine in size 10. I love wearing this shirt with my hair like this and big hoop earrings. And yeah, I'll actually try it on like this so you can see how I'm going to style it. But yeah, the back is very interesting as well because it is low cut. 
Next I have another amazing find from Topshop. Now um, the camera will wash me out because <laughs> this is a black dress. It is a very long black dress which you won't be able to see so I won't even try to show it to you like this. I'll definitely try it on so you can see the detail, the beautiful detail on the dress. I posted this dress on my Instagram and I added a link to my Insta stories so you can shop it. And uh, so many of you liked it. There were only a few sizes left uh, so hopefully when I link it now in the description box there will be some sizes available i wore this dress a few times already and i got so many compliments people stopped me and asked me where i got it from um so i'm really really happy that i got this dress it is absolutely stunning and yeah the detail is beautiful and yeah make sure if you buy this dress wear it with a belt because it looks so much nicer with a belt <laughs> for reference i got mine in size 10 Alright, next I mentioned that we went to Bista Village. I really wanted to vlog that day, but I was with my friends and I really wanted to enjoy my day uh, with my friends. Plus it was so hot, we were boiling and sweating, but it was a very, really fun day. We found some amazing things in Bista Village. My friend Laura found amazing Jimmy Choo's. I found some really cool dresses. By the way, they had uh, Fendi slides for £100. I didn't buy them because I didn't need them, but they were so beautiful. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll show you what I found. I was looking for dresses. I don't really have that many summer clothes, so I finally found... I was going to show you this first, but I'll show you the dress first. I found this amazing dress from the Coupos. I didn't know if I should show you these because um, I am not sure if you'd be able to find them as Bista Village is an outlet. And uh, these are older collections and I will try to find something similar. I doubt I'll find the exact same ones, but I'll try to find something similar for you guys. Um, so I bought this beautiful dress, the camera is really like washing me out so I'll put the dress down and I'll try it on instead. It is beautiful, it has beautiful detail, it is 100% silk, I think it fits really nicely. I really love the little detail on the waist and um, yeah you can wear it off the shoulder uh, as well. So yeah this is the dress, it is not too short but it is very lightweight and perfect for summer. Alright, next is this beautiful shirt. I've been obsessed with shirts lately, guys. Like, I keep buying shirts. And, uh, yeah, I'm wearing this shirt from... I will link it down below if I find it. But this is from the Zara sale. I found this beautiful shirt from the Coupos again. And it is so stunning. I really like the roughly detail uh, here on the front. And again, it is very lightweight, it is 100% silk. I didn't mention the price. The price of the dress was, the dress was reduced from, uh, I think, £400 to £100. Can you guys believe it? And this shirt was reduced from, I think, £200 to £60. And yeah, I really loved the colour and I knew this would look really nice with my rag and bone jeans because of the colour. And it has some really nice threads going through it so in the sun it's quite like sparkly <laughs> I really like it hopefully that will show on the camera and uh, yeah this is the shirt all right moving on because I have a few more clothing items to show you oh my god this is crazy <laughs> I found this beautiful dress again on sale from and other stories it is this dress I think I have a picture so I might actually insert a picture instead of trying it on but it's a very long dress again and uh, it looks amazing with my Chanel espadrilles and um, that's why I got it because of the color I thought this color would look amazing with my espadrilles and it does it is very very comfortable and it feels like you're not wearing anything very lightweight and beautiful um, so I love it it's perfect for every day I got mine in size 36 I love the fact that you can cinch in your waist again um, so it makes it a bit more flattering Next I have another shirt from H&M which I'm not sure if I should keep so let me know guys if you like this shirt. Um, it is a bit wrinkled so I have to iron it. It has balloon sleeves with a beautiful embroidery. I really love the embroidery, it looked really nice on the model and I thought with a light pair of denim jeans like my new rag and bones it will look really nice. I got mine in size 
38, European 38. But yeah, let me know about this one, if you like it or not, I'll try it on. I think it's cute, but maybe I have way too many shirts now. <laughs> Alright, next is something from Zara. I didn't actually buy that many items from the Zara sale. Um, I bought this shirt that I'm wearing now and two blazers. They're very overpriced when they're not on sale. They're like 80, 90 pounds, which is a lot for a high street brand. Um, so now is the time, guys, to buy blazers because the fit of the Zara blazers is really nice. They have some really cool colors. So for example, I got this um, mustardy um, yellow color and I got this blazer for from 70 pounds to 29 pounds and I got it in size S and I also bought this beautiful navy blazer with white buttons I really love the contrast again this one is in size small and it was reduced from again 70 to 29 pounds um, so I really like these two I can't wait to wear them it is very very hot now so I can't wear them but I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of these so this is it really from the Zara sale I didn't really buy anything else from the Zara sale I was going to make a haul but um, I'll wait for the new collection because with sale items I'll show you something you really like it and then it will be gone and you won't be able to find it so stay tuned I would definitely guys you've been asking you've been asking me to film a Zara haul but stay tuned I'll definitely film one with items from the new collection so everyone can find them did I bore you with all the clothes <laughs> all right I'll show you something different um, finished with the clothes I bought a really cute pair of flats from Andada Stories. I think they're really really cute. They had them in the yellow as well. I really want to buy the yellow ones if they're still available because these went on sale I think or maybe just the yellow ones went on sale. I'm not 100% sure uh, but if they still have them I might actually pick up the yellow ones because they were very cute. Uh, these are very comfortable. They're like satiny material. I got mine in size 38. They're true to size. They're very comfortable and very cute. All right, next I want to show you this. And you might be thinking, what the hell is this? This is AirPods. I finally got myself the Apple AirPods and oh my God, they're amazing. I really, really wish that I bought these when they first came out. These are life-changing, they're amazing. Probably the best item that I bought this month, hands down. Uh, they are awesome. Okay, so I actually bought a case. I want to remove the case. I actually try to remove it and show you the headphones without the case if I can. I can't remove it now. So mine I actually put in a little case so I don't scratch the case. <laughs> So basically the headphones come in a case and they charge from that case. It is a white case. If you have them, you already know. But I'll try to remove the case so you can see how they look without the case. I also want to show you this case that I bought from eBay actually. I will link it down below. Hopefully it is still available. It is coming from China but it actually arrived so fast in like a week. It was here. They had it in different colors. They had it in white, blue, green, like all the colors. And uh, um, it comes with uh, this little thing which you can remove if it's too bulky but what I do because these can't really I can't really fit that many things in my petite mal what I do when I don't have space for the headphones I would attach this here and wear my bag like this so you can use it as a bag charm as well <laughs> so yeah I wanted to show you the case as well but let's talk about these amazing headphones they're wireless I read some reviews and people said that they don't really fit very well and they keep falling off um, I don't have that problem actually with my uh, wired headphones um, they were coming off my ear all the time and I had to constantly like push them in my ear which was really annoying but I think that was because of the cable because the cable like moves all the time if it's in my bag if the phone's in my bag or if I'm holding the phone and I'm like running in the gym or when I'm walking the cables like moving and the headphones keep falling off which was really annoying and these I don't have the, I, I don't have this problem with these these are absolutely amazing they stay in my ears actually the quality of the sound is much better I love these because they also work amazing 
with all my Apple products. I have the iPad, I have iPhone, I have uh, my MacBook Air, this Mac behind me as well and um, I use these with all my Apple devices. They connect so fast, <laughs> like you literally hold these next to your device and they connect uh, so fast you don't have to pair them one by one if you don't have these definitely invest in a pair of these they are not even that expensive i believe they are 160 pounds to some of you it might sound a lot but i think they're a really good investment and i know some other like wireless headphones are much more expensive um, so these are actually cheap compared to the other wireless Headphone. All right, I have a few more products to show you and uh, I'll start with this Tom Ford palette This is actually what I'm wearing on my face not only on my eyes, but this is actually face and eyes palette So this one is called uh, 04 violet Oh my god, I don't know how to say this Argente <laughs> And yeah, this is on my eyes and on my face The eyeshadows are very pigmented, buttery soft I love Tom Ford products, they're like my favourite makeup product I know they're very expensive But they are such a good quality And yeah, I love the eyeshadows However, with these four eyeshadows There is a little bit of fallout So make sure you tap your brush before you apply it on your eyes My other favourite thing in this palette is the blush Which I'm also wearing The highlighter I'm not such a fan of But I do like it, but it doesn't suit me Because it's pink and I don't really wear pink highlighters Sometimes I mix it with the blush It is very luminous and nice and gives you a really nice glow but as I said it is not the right um, undertone for me like it's very pink I love more golden highlighters um, so if I apply it as a highlighter on top I'll put some of my golden like duo highlighter which I'm actually wearing right now so I really like this palette it is very very wearable perfect for every day you might be a bit scared of that purple color but it's actually very very wearable I'm actually wearing it right now on my bottom lash line it blends really nicely with all the other colors and all the colors really complement each other um, they are such beautiful colors I can't wait to wear this purple eyeshadow all over my lid I think it will look amazing they're so pigmented and beautiful so yeah I highly recommend this palette it's been my everyday palette it's beautiful and it has everything that you need blush highlighter eyeshadows so yeah all right, next I have this Real Technique. There are actually two inside, but I'm using one, so I decided to bring up the unused one. These beauty mini beauty. <laughs> this is nothing new. It's not like a new product, but for me it is. I've never used these tiny sponges, and I thought they are very useless <laughs> until now. I decided to give them a try and see if they're any good and I actually really like them. So I bought these uh, for my concealer because I use the little uh, like pot from NARS, the matte concealer and it is very thick and um, very very pigmented, very like high, high coverage. So I wanted something more precise and I wanted to try these mini beauty blenders. Who knew <laughs> they'll be so good? So if you haven't tried these, I used to, like, you can still use your big beauty blender. These are just a bit more precise and, uh, yeah, I really like them. So I use the big one for my face and these ones just for that thick concealer. I actually applied two concealers. So for my uh, Maybelline Eraser Concealer, I used the big sponge to blend it um, with my foundation a little bit and then these for more precise application I use with the thick NARS concealer just to cover up my dark circles. Another product that I'm re really happy with is this uh, Smooth Sugar Clear Scrub by L'Oreal and it has kiwi seeds inside. It is so cool. I bought it because of the packaging and because of the color. I will be honest with you. I went home and I wanted to use this mask but it turned out it's not a mask it is a scrub but i'm really happy with this scrub actually i've used it a few times already 
first it smells amazing and it is such a nice scrub my skin feels amazing after I use this and my skin is very like soft and glowy and it's supposed to remove your blackheads um, that's not true <laughs> I didn't see it getting rid of my um, blackheads on my nose or anything uh, but it feels really nice on the face and you apply it on dry face with your dry fingers and then you wet your fingers and you start rubbing it and it's actually very very nice feeling very gentle not too rough use it two or three times a week and i've already used it i think three times um so i'm really happy with it uh, my skin after that feels amazing so give it a go you might like it me thinking this was a mask can you believe it <laughs> Next I want to show you two of my favourite nail varnishes and they're these pastel colours. This one is from Under the Stories. Pink nails are so trendy now and I was looking for the right shade of pink and I found this really cute pink shade from Under the Stories. And then the other one is this one that I'm actually wearing right now. This is by OPI and I'll link the name down below. It is One Chick Chick. <laughs> one Chick Chick. This is definitely my like favorite one um like if i have to pick one i'll pick this one it is stunning i love it it's very summery very fresh it looks amazing and other stories always have very fun colors and uh, like more unique shades these last quite long but these are very very the opi ones uh and the orange are very uh long wearing and i've had this one on i have three coats on so it's like fully opaque i want it to be fully opaque so i applied three coats and i've had it for like five days now i'm not even joking like five or six days and it hasn't chipped at all like I took showers and I washed the dishes, I tied it up around the house, so it hasn't chipped, I'm very surprised, the quality of these is amazing, so I highly recommend this one, and if you're looking for the perfect pink shade, this is the one. <laughs> Next I want to show you two items that I got, actually one of them is from H&M, this one I ordered online. Um, I think it sold out but I wanted to buy more and I was searching for them and I found someone selling the exact same ones on eBay uh, so I'll try to link them I didn't buy them from eBay but I wanted to order a few more of these and I found them on eBay and it's this really cute flamenco glass how gorgeous is this little glass with flamencos I love it so I want to show you this one and I found another amazing thing from H&M Home and look at this plate with the little llamas <laughs> yeah I think it's really really cute and I love the little llamas so it is not on sale I think it is a current um, like collection so I will try to link it down below as well I love H&M Home they always have such cute items Okay guys, this is all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if this was a very long video, but I had so many things to show you. Maybe I should have filmed separate videos like a clothing haul because I did have quite a few clothing items. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to come follow me on my other social media platforms. You can see my Instagram here. This is my Instagram feed. I post out of the day pictures there. Um, so if you're curious and want to get some inspo and see more of my favorite products that I link on my Insta stories, make sure you come and give me a follow on my Instagram. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!